Hey folks out there, this is TBPB. Welcome to my first Let's Play ever. As you can see, it's the most well-known game, like, ever. Um, easily one of the best games of all time, you know. The best action RPG there is, folks. Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Now, I gotta say, um, you know, I got some memories with this game. It's really not my first Zelda game, it's actually my second. The first one was Orchard, uh, Majora's Mask, excuse me. Um, regardless, you know, I really like this game. Um, now I'm gonna be trying something different. I'm gonna be going for the minimalist, uh, route. So, pretty much this will be a let's play of Orchard of Time, Minimalist Quest. Now, I'm gonna be pretty much going through the game with three hearts and a bottle. Yep. That's it. And all the required items. The only thing I'm going to upgrade in this Let's Play is the um, wallet. And I'm going to do that for a certain reason later on. I'm going to have a survey asking the viewers um, if I should use this certain item that I have to purchase um, later on. Uh, for It's going to be for like upping the difficulty level later on. Like, you know, um, making the game like that much harder. You know, also might add some other restrictions uh, later on in the Let's Play, but who knows. Now, the reason I'm uh, at this menu is because a lot of people, you know, complain about uh, how, why in the world can I get out of Z-Target? Now, the reason for this is because you probably have it on the switch function. By the way, this is default, so um, if, you're, if you Z-Target something and you want to get out, if you have switch on, you would have to hold down Z and then move away from the object you're Z targeting. That can be a little frustrating for some folks, including myself, so I'm going to switch it to hold. Now pretty much this is, I guess, the more easier approach of the two. Um, and you know it's the most conventional, just hold down Z to Z target and then let go to get out of Z targeting, so enough said. Anyways, um, I'm going to get started. Name him Link, of course. No, I'm not gonna name him anything vulgar. But you know, I'm curious. Um, what wacky names have you came up with for Link viewers? Um, I remember when I first played the Zelda series, I always called him Zelda because I thought that's who he was. Like, you know, I played Majora's Mask first, so I didn't know anything about Zelda at that time. All right, story. So we got a great Deku tree, the Guardian of the Forest. And the children are called the Korkiri. Is it Korkiri? Korkiri? How do you pronounce that, viewers? I'm curious, because I've heard so many different ways of pronouncing that one word. Oh, so there is one boy without a fairy. Hmm. <laughs> Strange. Oh, he's shuddering. That can't be good. wonder what he's dreaming. Whoa! What's this? Dark Knight. White horse fleeing from the town? A boy with a boy. Oh, what is this? Who's she? Why is she looking at me? Oh. Oh, he's raising his hand. That can't be good. Hmm. So Link had a fairy in that, uh, I guess dream of his? Foreshadowing! Alright, so we have a, uh, oh, so this is Navi, a fairy, and the figure behind her is the great Deku tree. You kind of can't really tell, of course, because you know it's all the same area. Yeah. It's a talking tree, folks. Alright, so we got evil forces about to attack Hyrule once again. No, this storyline hasn't been reused over the past 14 Zelda games. Not at all. Or, you know, I guess it's a couple of Zelda games who technically it's not Hyrule being overcome by evil, but it's still the same plot. I mean, come on. Okay, so the boy without a fairy, since it's highlighted in red, he must be in so he's the one who will bring justice and peace to Hyrule. So, Navi, go now. 
I do not have much time. Fly, Nap, fly. The fate of the, yeah, the fate of the force, nay, the world, depends upon thee. So the entire fate of the world depends upon a little fairy who is considered to be the most annoying character of all time in the Zelda game to this day. Wow. You know, technically, um, well, not technically, but personally, I don't really think Navi is that annoying. Um, but, you know, I, I can understand why people don't like her, you know, because she, at the most awkward time, she has to give you useless knowledge of things that you already know how to do, and it just gets so annoying because she does it over and over and over throughout the entire game, and um, there's also a little glitch that can also um, make her a little more annoying too. Um, you know, when you have like the switch function on, and like she's trying to tell you something with the, you know, you gotta press the C up to listen to her, but you don't do it, and you target something and then start switching between the two. Yeah, she'll keep on saying, hey, listen, hey, hey, listen, listen, hey, hey, listen, listen. And she'll keep on doing that over and over again, um, as long as you keep on switching between the uh, objects and stuff. So, yeah, that's a pretty um, weird glitch, but, yeah, that gets annoying really quick. So, okay, so she's going to be our partner. So, the Great Deku Tree has summoned me. Wow, what a honor. All right, let's get going. Let's -a go. All right, now quick note: um, you can press C up to change the angle um, inside of a house. Anytime you see like a perspective view like this, just press C up, and it'll change to this view. Um, I really don't see a point in it, but you know, if you just don't like that view for whatever reason or something, you know, you can change it by pressing C up. Simple as that. So we got a little forest girl. Yahoo! Hi, Link! Alright, so Link has a girlfriend in this game. Wow, what are the odds? Alright, so, um, you know, I gotta, you gotta hate that, um, like in every Zelda game, every time Link, like, has a girl that likes him, or, you know, that's, um, a friend of his, uh, she ends up being, like, a, a ancient sage or something, or, you know, or some sort of, there's some sort of plot um, device that just happens to uh, relate to her that tears her apart from me. So they can never be together ever again. Yeah, it sucks. Okay, so I'm pretty much going to play this game how it was meant to be played. So I'm pretty much going to go to the places that like tell you what you need to do. Like, I'm, I'm going to pretend like I this is my first time playing the game, sort of. So, yeah. Hey you, Mr. No Fairy, what's your business with the great Deku Tree? Huh, I'm trying to sound all tough. Without a real fairy, you're not even a real man. Okay, so, uh... Fairies make you more manly. Wow. Alright. I'll go with that. So, why would he summon you and not the great Mido? Uh, jeez. <laughs> this isn't funny. You're not so great, you know that. I mean, seriously. He doesn't even. He doesn't. He doesn't have a sword and shield himself. I mean, he he he, he has some. Uh, he needs to get that eagle mask checked out. Okay. Um. Pretty much, he told us we need to get the sword and shield. Now, I'm just gonna let you know, folks. The shield is in there, but you need to have 40 rupees to equip it. There's five rupees in the shop. Yeah. Um, so I'm only gonna get 35, and the sword is hidden somewhere in the, uh, forest, so let's go find it. Alright, so whose house is this? House of the Great Mido, boss of the court. Okay, so, you know, let's go raid Mido's house, because he was such a jerk. Because everyone knows that in Zelda games, the whole point of the series is to go inside random people's houses and steal all their valuables. That's, that's, that's the whole idea, you know. That's, that's why people play Zelda games. You know, it's not for their awesome music, superb gameplay, and great storyline. Oh no, it's because 
we get to go inside people's houses and raid them of all of their items. Mwahaha! <laughs> yeah, I guess I gotta work on my build up to my evil laugh. You know, it's funny. I think, like, probably every Let's player has, like, an evil laugh in their videos at one point. You know, I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get it to the point where, um, they actually shins sugars down your spine. Oh, we got a giant boulder. Who in the world would, like, put a giant boulder in the middle of the forest? I mean, seriously, like, that, that couldn't have been naturally made. Like, somebody had to literally put a giant boulder in And, you know, for somehow defy the laws of physics and have it constantly roll around the entire time, hoping that nobody would be smart enough to just go past it to get the sword. I mean, what the heck? And you know a boulder that size in real life would crush you? I mean, think about it. Like, the thing is like five times bigger than you. And boulders aren't the lightest objects. And whatever. Um, I guess that's enough for this um, let's play. Oh, by the way, um, if you really haven't um, noticed, like, the little blue icon right there, yeah, that's your action icon. I probably should have said that like way earlier. Um, but yeah, if you want to enter this, you gotta walk towards it and then press the A button in order to enter. Just like that. And then use the control stick to move forward or backwards. Simple as that. So, yeah, I guess um, next time, viewers, um, well, we'll get the shield and continue on with our uh, quest to defend Hyrule from the forces of evil. Or to go see the Great Deku Tree before he tells us that. But we know it's going to happen anyway. So, this is TPB. See you guys later.